up guys, Show for Gamers, episode 23, and we're reviewing a big two-disc game called Mass Effect 2. Hey. So basically, your back is Commander Shepard, takes place two years after the original game. Um, and human colonies are disappearing. And a strange alien race called the Collectors is taking humans. Now, if you did a bunch of exploration in the first game, you'll know a little bit about a secret human organization called Cerberus. Well, they recruit you to stop the Collectors. And that's all I'm going to say about the story. We but, can't go any more in depth. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin nothing for you. We don't want to ruin the um, glorious. Small little spoiler, look out. You will encounter brand new teammates, um, and you oh, can encounter on. old teammates. A great example is uh, um, Tali Zaraya. Vasnima, she's back. Um, basically, you can take your load game from Mass Effect 1. It'll transfer mm -hmm. your... your um, you start out as level 1, but based upon your level and how much stuff you had, you'll get a bunch of resources and money right off the bat, and that transfers over. All of your choices, the big choices you made in Mass Effect 1, transfer over to Mass Effect 2. Um, so, even down to like little characters you shot... Little characters you let get away, you're gonna bump into them throughout your explorations of the galaxy. So that's a that's a one good point. If you didn't play the first one, that's a great thing to go back and play at first. Yeah. Because you, know? you almost have to play into the first one if you really want a full experience. I think. The lighting in this game is extraordinarily oh. better than the first. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Um, facial animations are a lot, a lot, a lot better. Characters now don't just stand there robotically and talk to each other. You still have the talking wheel. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about, I mean, Shepard will sit down on a couch and have a conversation with another person as that person stands up and walks around the room. They'll, yeah, they'll walk around the Normandy. They'll leave the room that you started in. They'll actually walk through the, you know... They'll lean on railings. They'll blow smoke away from another character that's smoking. Um, and speaking of the Normandy, it is a lot bigger, a lot more accessible. Oh, yeah. The, low, uh, the stupid long elevator rides are replaced with just straight loading screens. Mm -hmm. Those aren't that long. Um, They're interesting to look at because you see it, like outlines of Normandy. Characters you had before on the Normandy, like Joker and uh, Dr. Chalk was, they're back. You can talk a lot more to them. You can do little things, like a great example is you can get um, iced brandy for Dr. Chalk was, get drunk with her, and basically reminisce about past characters in the past game. Stuff like that, you're going to want to play Mass Effect 1 for. Mm -hmm. You're just not going to get the same experience if you play Mass Effect 2. Yeah. You can still play Mass Effect 2 from scratch with a brand new invented character. Mm -hmm. Basically, the game just kind of fills in what, what most people made choices on. Um, again, you play good and evil. Um, <clears throat> combat is a billion times better. Oh, yeah. A billion times better. You're in cover. Um, cover's tight. You pop out of it. Um, if an explosion happens, Shepard feels it. You, you see get Shepard back reacting, get knocked the off the cover. cover. Explosions around you, all your hearing kind of goes away. And comes the, back yeah, the audio, the audio is, audio is fantastic. Um, you're back with tech, you're back with biotics, you're back with all the classes. Um, the major stuff is you're fighting mechs, the geth are back, you'll be fighting them, you'll be fighting the collectors, you'll be fighting mixtures of Batarian, um, Excuse me, Krogan, humans, you just fight pirates and mercenaries and... Yeah, there's like three main mercenaries. There's three main mercenary, uh, Blood Pact, Eclipse, and the Blue Suns. You encounter them. So, in general, combat is a, is a lot better. Um, basically, they, they've shrunk down all these abilities you gotta go through. They've shrunk it down. Yeah. Basically, you use battle points and you gain those for missions. And when you max out a battle point bar, you get to pick one of two super versions of it. So a great example is um, there's like this rushing biotic attack that I use all the time where you just like warp speed yourself in an instant to an enemy and smash into them. Well, I picked the heavy version of that where when you hit into them, you do 1,000 newtons of force. Most mechs I hit with that, they shatter and they're dead in a yeah. hit. And if that doesn't kill them, it usually breaks through a shield and then I'm sitting there with my oh, shotgun. Yeah. Another great improvement is last time they had incendiary, cryo, um, disruptive ammo, all those, they're just an ability. So, yeah. in the ability wheel, you click on them and your character's like, boop, boop, boop. Bam, it's already, you don't have to go into menus. A lot of the menus are gone now. There's, mm -hmm. there's, 
weapons, you get a good weapon, everybody that can use that good weapon, it's auto equipped in. Yeah, they simplify, you upgrade that weapon. They simplify weapons a lot. Because now you don't get weapons, you gotta look at the stats and see which one's better and who wants what. You get the, a weapon, and usually as you go through the game, you're getting a better weapon, you know, as you find them. So it auto equips the next weapon to your, your person and everything. You start out with a single suit of armor, that's all you're gonna get. You can customize the colors of that. But you can get different shoulder pads, different leggings, different helmets, a bunch of different stuff. So when you're done, your shepherd looks completely different. Right. Basically from any other shepherd and then, that you play. Uh, yeah, then obviously if you had some of the extra content stuff. Downloadable content, there's that, but you can't but you can't upgrade those or anything. No, right? yeah, it's just it's the base it's whatever color it is. Like I had um, Dragon Age Origins and I got the downloadable account for that one, and I have a suit for that, so it's just got the dragon and everything. Then there's a red armor, and there's a collector's armor and stuff. Those yeah. are, you can't customize those. And I kind of don't like wearing them sometimes, because you can't toggle on and off your helmet anymore. At least yeah, I Yeah, that's it. the only thing I didn't like, can't toggle on and, and off And with helmet. those three suits, you have your helmet on, so through the whole game, I'm sitting there, I have You can't see Shepard's facial I'm like, I, so I took, a, I took the armor off, actually, and just went to the other stuff for a while. Yeah. Anyway, the game is fucking gigantic. It's two discs. Um, it's yeah. kind of weird that it goes from disc one to, to disc two, then to disc one. Yeah, like which in the middle. I don't understand. Yeah, I was kind of confused too, because I was like, I'm not that far in the game, am I? I'm already in disc two. Yeah. Yeah, then they may go back anyway, so. But it's, it's ridiculously big. It's not enough to talk about in this episode within 10 minutes. So check out part two. We'll post it right underneath this one. Part two, we'll be talking about planets, locations, um, and new races, the value of the replayability, um, cool little things we found that you should look for, and basically just like any glitches and shit, shit, shit EA pulled, because EA bought Bioware. Of course. So basically, check out part two of the Mass Effect 2 review right underneath here. Check it out, guys. Go. Right now, watch. Right. So.